Hello there, my name is Oli and uh, I work for Cambly You For Christ and it is a pleasure uh, this morning to be leading your assembly all from the comfort of my own home. So for those of you wondering who, who are Cambly You For Christ, uh, well we are a Christian youth work charity that partner uh, with local churches uh, on our team are people who are Christians uh, and then we work in local secondary schools and in the schools uh, we do a variety of different youth work uh, from leading assemblies like what we're doing now uh, to doing uh, RF lessons, uh, to uh, having lunchtime clubs. We also uh, have uh, lots of pastoral support where we meet young people one-to-one -one or in groups where we try and support them and encourage them um, and uh, just try and help them out with any issues they might be facing. Uh, so that's a little bit about the work of Camelie for Christ, but also what we also uh, what I'm really passionate about is reaching young people online. Uh, so we do have a TikTok account. Uh, we also have a Facebook account for parents. Uh, we also uh, have a YouTube and Instagram. And on there, uh, I do a variety of different videos, uh, content, just trying to relate with young people. So I'd love for you to uh, check us out on there. Oh, I also forgot to mention uh, that we have our own youth room at King's International, which is in the old sixth form block at D6. Uh, it's a really, really nice room. Um, so that's where we do most of our work at, at King's um, and uh, you might see my team around they might wear, be wearing a jumper like this that says schools work on the back because we work in schools or they may have a lanyard on uh, like this. If you do see my team uh, we're uh, really friendly you know, feel free to say hello and if you see me around at school as well please do come and say hello as well. Anyway let's crack on with the assembly. Now I heard this story of a dad and his five-year-old daughter now his five-year-old daughter used to have this china doll and sh she absolutely loved this china doll. Uh, she'd take it everywhere with her, she'd, take it on t uh, she'd have tea parties for it, uh, she'd play with it all the time um, and she absolutely loved the china doll. And the, the dad, uh, to, to protect the china doll, uh, decided that at the end of the day, when she finished playing with the china doll, she, uh, he would put it on the mantelpiece just to kind of keep it safe. One day, uh, the dad thought, decided to have a pillow fight and uh, they had the pillow fight in the same place where the china doll is kept. I'm sure you can see where the story is going. Now uh, the dad and uh, his daughter were having a great pillow fight, you know, hitting each other, having a great time and uh, yeah so they're having this pillow fight and the dad decided to go for the killer blow. So he, he swung back and uh, as he swung back he didn't realise that he not and hit the china doll. The china doll started to sway from side to side and then it fell and then it crashed and uh, broke into lots of different pieces and the dad was shocked. The girl was shocked. Uh, the dad frantically uh, tried to piece it back together, put it back together again but it wasn't working. So, ah, right, okay, I'll get some super glue. So he ran and got some super glue sat down and started to try and put the pieces back together and, he, and he, he, he managed to kind of fix it but it just didn't look right. It wasn't the same as it was before. It was broken. It, was, um, it wasn't the same. Um, and so the dad presented the china doll to, to his five-year-old girl. Here you go, my darling. And, and he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I broke your doll. And the, the girl just kind of like looked at the doll and looked at her dad. Didn't really say anything at first and the dad thought, um, that I'm, oh no, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I know, I'll buy you a new one. I'll buy you a new one. It'll be fine, it'll be okay. I'll just buy you a new one. I don't want a new one. But darling, it's, it's broken. It's, it doesn't work anymore. But the girl, and this is really profound, the girl looked at the dad and said, just because it's broken doesn't mean I can't love her. Just because she's broken doesn't mean I can't love her. Now, I love this story because for me, it, it's, it's a really important message, maybe around this time uh, where we see statistics around mental health. On um, Saturday, it was actually World Mental Health Day, trying to raise awareness around the importance of, of mental health. And uh, it's talked about a lot in the news around mental health, but uh, I saw a statistic the other day, but one in four young people will experience some form of mental health issue um, in their life. You start counting the people in your class you'll see actually there's a lot of people in your class that will be going through something tough and really, really, really challenging. And often when we go through, uh, if we ever go through a mental health issue like anxiety, depression, um, maybe even that could turn into self-harm or, you know, that type of thing, um, we can feel, uh, people who go through that can feel that their life is, is worthless, 
uh, doesn't mean anything um, and that even uh, even feel like I, I don't I don't need to be here which is really um, really sad things to, to think and feel and and often people who are going through a mental illness can can feel like they're broken that they're not being the person who they used to be um, which is which is really sad and I guess for me a, a, as a Christian um, I believe that that all life matters that all life is valuable has purpose and has a meaning and just like the story that I shared that the, the little girl who loved this China doll and she still loved that China doll even though it was broken, even though it was not the same as it was before. I believe as a Christian that God has that same love for us. That, that God loves us despite of our brokenness, that God loves us despite uh, of the way that we feel about us. Uh, I believe that, that as a Christian, but I also believe that uh, even if I wasn't a Christian, I'd still believe that. I believe that, that, that life is value, precious and has a purpose. And, and uh, you might be sat in this, in this assembly, virtual assembly, sat in your tutor room and maybe feeling a bit down about life. And I want to encourage you to keep going, to keep pressing on, to talk to people that you trust, talk to the loved ones, uh, because your life does have meaning, purpose and value. And you are loved. Honestly, you are loved even if you feel a bit broken inside, even if you feel uh, that you're not thriving or doing the best that you can, let me assure you that you are still loved. Now, I often wonder why so many people don't attend church anymore. It might be because of the belief that church is boring, irrelevant and maybe pointless. However, I think one of the main reasons why people don't go to church is because they don't feel like they're good enough or holy enough or worthy enough to be inside a church. and. Uh, they may even feel that they are too broken to be at church. This saddens me because I believe as a Christian that church isn't for the holy, actually it's for the broken. Uh, in the Bible we read that, that Jesus Christ died for sinners, he died for people who, are, who make mistakes, who aren't holy, who are broken. Um, Jesus actually, his body was broken so that we could be made whole uh, on the cross. That's what we believe as Christians. The best part of Christianity, actually the most liberating part, is that we believe that uh, we can't earn God's love. Instead, it is given to us and it is given out to us abundantly that God loves us despite of the mistakes and of our brokenness. And at times in our life, our brokenness may still be there. The cracks may still feel very visible, but I believe that God loves us despite of that. Just like the daughter did with the China doll, even though it was broken, she still loved it. In Psalm 34 in the Bible, uh, it says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. Now, uh, I want to conclude uh, this online assembly with you just by, I guess, two points. And my first point is, well, it's to do with that, that at times life can be really tough. It can be really challenging. There can be um, stuff that, that knocks us down, that gives us blows, that makes us feel broken. Um, but the point, the first point is that even if you're going through that, even if you feel like that, that your life is precious, is valuable and has meaning, that does not change. It does not change even if you're going through really bad times. You still have purpose in this world. And for me, the second point is this, and, I, and this is a quote from a guy called Mike Pilavachi, and he said this, that uh, God loves you because he loves you because he loves you. I believe in those, those two things. So yeah, so that's uh, the end of my assembly. Thank you so much for listening and paying attention. Uh, again, I'd love for you to check us out on social media. Uh, that would be great. You can see some of my silly TikTok videos and some of our stuff on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Uh, so yes, we'd love for you to do that. Hope you have a great day. And uh, well, I've got some questions for you to discuss as well uh, with your tutor group. Uh, so they should come on the screen at the end. Take care. See you guys. Bye.